Hi, I'm Shana from Sage Country Herbs, and I am here at Mount Pisgah Arboretum with Mountain Rose Herbs, and we're going to go and enjoy some of our plant friends of the Pacific Northwest. Come along. This is a super cool plant to check out. We're looking at this right here and these right here. This is Equisetum. This is horsetail. So horsetail has such a wide history, not only with human use, but this plant is not changed since the dinosaurs. Like this plant has been on the planet for that long. It grows by water, um, very commonly grows by water. It doesn't have to be in water. It likes marshy areas. It likes to be on the edges of water, um, but it's called horsetail because that of all these wonderful, the way that it looks like a horse's tail. I mean, of course, um, we even get that from the Latin name equisetum. Equine is horse. And so equisetum, this is horse tail. But this is one form of it. And then there's also this other form of it. And this is basically, this is a plant that the primary way that I have used this plant has been externally. It is a ridiculously rich source of minerals like silica. And that silica makes your skin incredibly soft. And actually I learned about this from, um, from a very well-known herbalist um, who I didn't get to take an apprenticeship with, but I got to just take a couple of classes with. And that was Cascade Anderson Geller. And she told this wonderful story about, um, about these Ukrainian women and seeing these Ukrainian women um, in Portland doing some harvesting and noticing their Ukrainian husbands on the lookout. And so slowly over the course of a couple of months, Cascade got slowly closer and closer and was like, so that they would know that she was there doing similar things that they were. And then when she, you know, finally, you know, got close enough and she was able to ask them, you know, she's got her little bag of, of goodies that she's been collecting. And then she asked them, what are you collecting? And they show the horse tail and she asked them, what do they do with it? And they like to put it in their baths, especially the baby plants, the young plants. She li they like to put it in the bath because it makes your skin so incredibly soft. And while that is a wonderful um, thing to learn about it and that it is commonly used, um, in supplements for minerals, um, especially plant-based supplements. But what I learned more importantly from that story is actually how we can use our relationships with people, especially um, diverse people from around the world and how much we can learn when we open ourselves up to recognizing that everybody has areas that are their expertise from their own experience. It's one of my favorite things about living in the Southwest because we have so much diversity in the Southwest from the very close proximity to Mexico and Central America, as well as the many, many um, indigenous cultures from the Southwest, as well as just the heavy diversity of people from around the world that go to LA and go to San Diego and go to places and settle down. And that opens you up. Like I've done plant walks with people that speak all different languages. And it's wonderful to be able to hear, like some people say, oh, I know the name of that, but it's in my own tongue. Like, oh, I want to hear it. I don't remember it because I don't know their language, but it's so cool to recognize that there is so much to learn in diversity. And that's actually what this plant teach, teaches me. When I think about horsetail, I think about the value of diversity and how we can learn something from anybody. Thank you so much for joining us for a plant walk at Mount Pisgah, and I hope you come back and see more plant walks, and maybe I'll see you out in the field.